Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another one hour test and I'm not just gonna test any spot today. I'm gonna test one of the most popular Kuiper uh, grinding spots and no other than the large nuclear reactor, right? This is going to be the spot that I'm going to be testing today and I am going to be actually testing it on private mode. I don't want anyone to mess around with me. I tried to actually record this and make a test and I was already 10 minutes in and people were running in, pulling out my mobs and, and stuff like that. And I got a little bit frustrated. So I decided to do um, a pure, you know, solo private run test. This is not going to be as efficient as if you have a full party and you have someone already constantly restarting the missions over and over and over again. But this is also going to be an interesting test and to see the results, how many Kuiper can I have and can I grind um, in this by myself, solo, with, you know, the modifiers that I have. I have a, a 0.16x modifier from uh, this component over here. Uh, this is what I usually use for my grinding videos uh, for my previous one, uh, by the way, over there. The link if you're interested to see an uh, interesting grinding spot um, and uh, the, the the way i usually do it i write down or you know i get back to the video uh, to see in the beginning how much exactly kuiper did i had how many uh, how much gold did i had in the beginning and the other thing that i check is exactly how many uh, modules did i had 420 422 modules uh, but the exact number of the modules doesn't really matter because what I usually do, I when I'm editing the video, I go back and watch the entire video and scan with my eyes and look for and count manually all the all the modules that I get during one hour of grinding. I calculate it in the end and then I post it in the end uh, in my Discord channel. Uh, with the results and yeah and speaking about my discord channel if you're interested in joining i'm actually building a new community pretty small discord right now but hopefully it will grow big enough to have you know in the future multiple parties going on there uh, and we'll have enough people to grind together and to grind efficiently right and to you know just get straight to the grinding session I'm going to be testing out today this grinding spot is pretty popular it's nothing new under the radar i just want to see how much i can pull for one hour grinding uh, over here um, my damage is just enough to one shot everything the tougher mobs die from two or three um, skills usually um, and that's about it i'm just gonna start right now the timer i play some music i speed up the video and in the end of the video i will give you the results if you enjoyed this video you know the drill like and subscribe i appreciate your support let's go
And there we go. Alright. So let me just check everything from the ground. And I will be checking out final numbers in a second and I'll be Rewatching this whole video to check um, how many modules did I get in total. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think I've collected everything. Pretty much. And I have 895,000 hyper, 13 million gold, and about 140 modules. Could be this could be around what, 60 70 K in modules, but I will count the modules, I'll calculate everything, and I'll get back in a second. All right, folks, and here we go with the results from the one hour grind. I just calculated and checked out how many mods and everything. Man, the counting of mods in this video was just painful. Um, I counted 97 blue mods. 47 purple mods, 3 yellow mods, 0 transcendence, um, and this totaled 76.8k if you dismantle all of these. Then I had 8, 8, um, 808k uh, in, um, at the start of the grind and 895 in total. There we go, the number over there, you can see it. Uh, so if we remove... Um, the difference 86.6k raw drop from the ground plus 76k from mods this makes 163k per hour solo grinding large nuclear um, reactor which is definitely not definitely not recommended I'm pretty sure that you can almost double this number probably if you have a really good group going on of everyone grinding constantly and you don't have any pauses between um, between the you know the missions like I did. I had to run sometimes. I messed up. I didn't uh, start it immediately. Um, it was not a it was not a flawless grind. This was a, this is what I'm trying to say. So my recommendation over here is. Grind this spot in a group and you will easily do more than 230-40k per hour on this spot. Uh, the gold at start I had 11.3 million, gold after 13 million, so 1.5 million gold. Uh, and also I counted 3 code breakers and 4 precision code breakers for the entire hour. Um, this is definitely not a spot for... Solo grind. I mean, it's doable if you're happy with numbers like this. Um, totally go for it. Um, but I highly recommend you grind this spot in a group. If you're looking for people to grind with, join our Discord. And I'm happy to jump with you in a in a pre-made uh, party. And we can go and uh, we can grind together. This will be definitely more efficient. Let me know in the in the comments below which spot do you want me to check later next time. Do we have any recommendations? Um, have you heard about any spots that is really good? I have a, a, a few still planned where I'm going to do solo tests. And in the future, I do plan on uh, doing group tests as well. So if you do have, if you want to participate in those group tests, join our Discord, add me in game. Here is my, uh, my you know, pack. I'll see you in the next video.